Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys a quick look at Giant Machines 2017. Uh, you guys have always wanted me to play some of these odd simulator games, I've been hearing a lot about Farming Sim and all that, and I used to play these a lot, but I haven't had as much time recently, until I was sent a key to this game, and I don't know, just something about these big machines and getting to drive them around and play with them that really appeals to me. So we're just going to give this a quick look today. Uh, this is available on Steam. It just released probably, I think, a couple days ago. So I'll put all the information in the description. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. What we're going to do here, we're basically just going to do one mission and just test everything out. And then I'll show you guys maybe what else is available in the game and then we'll wrap it up. Your first task is to extract the silicone so we can finish the work on the space shuttle. Unfortunately, our main machine has a, a small malfunction. The previous operator of the bucket wheel excavator was just fired. And we fired people. I sure hope you can do better. Okay, well, it's, it's no pressure, guys. You know, just like, hey, we just fired this one guy. You need to come in here. I don't, I don't really want to read that. Uh, oh. Oh, so we're not, like already in the machine we're actually oh, this is a first person game okay this is this is odd it's a little sensitive I might need to adjust that down a bit I feel a, I feel a little twitchy this is a this is something you know, this game actually doesn't look half bad uh, the graphics are kind of nice on it uh, runs smooth uh, oh ho 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 oh look at that I want to play with that can we can we I guess we gotta drive over there I, I want to drive that Throttle, handbrake, turn left, right, camera, engine. Oh, this has got it all. Okay, I gotta learn how to do this. Hopefully the controls aren't quite as sensitive as the uh, the camera. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, handbrake, handbrake. Oh, I already kind of love this. I love games like this now. I, I remember why I used to play these. Yes. Oh, that thing is awesome. Okay, so apparently we are going to, I guess, cut into the side of the mountain here. And let me hide those controls, it's a little annoying. And then uh, we're gonna take the silicone and do something with it. Uh, apparently we have a space shuttle, I don't think it's out here, but... Uh, let's see, oh! This thing's a little bouncy. I like this card, I'm probably driving this way too fast. Uh, let's see. Oh! There we go. Alright, uh, we're almost here. That is massive, I don't think I've ever the seen... The broken wires hey. lie on the tray next to the tank. Oh, it's broken. Them okay, so we need to pick up the hydraulic lines. Okay, that's cool. So we actually get to fix this thing. Let's uh, let's hop out of this. Can't be exited once working. Okay, can I it turn it off? There we go. Is that is the brake on, or is it gonna roll back? Or those are uh, really detailed models. Okay, we've got a hydraulic line, and where's everybody else? Am I the only guy? Did we fire everybody, or or what's going on here? This is a strange, that is a huge machine though, I, I absolutely love that. Okay, uh, let's grab these hydraulic lines and... I tell you what, these hydraulic lines don't look any better. I mean, these look actually like they're in pretty rough shape, but... Oh well, I guess we get to use this. Uh, let's see. So, what do I do now? Wait. Okay, so what else, there's something else over here that we have to grab. Oh, okay, they are broken, so we have to repair these. Okay, how do we do that? Just hold the button? Okay, it's pretty self-explanatory. Come on, repair. Well done. I see you're doing great. Hey, try not to die while you're attaching the wires to the actuator a hundred meters above the ground. I really don't want to say this, but the uh, the operator, the guy that's talking, he sounds like Scrap Man in his Western voice. Just saying. And uh. I've got to go up there. How the heck? Oh, this is going to be a long walk, isn't it? And look at the tracks on this thing. No telling how many millions of dollars this machine would have cost. That is a. Uh, that's really awesome, but uh, I really don't want to climb a bunch of stairs. Uh, this is this is going to take a while, so uh, just give this a moment. Okay, I am a little lost here. I've walked around the platform. Oh, there's the stairs. Okay. Yeah, this is probably not a good time to mention. I don't like heights, and this is a real life thing. Uh, I love like roller coasters and stuff, but there's something about like being on the side of a railing or going up stairs like this. I, I, I wouldn't do this at all. This would be terrifying. Uh, where do we go next? And really, 
No, where's where's my safety harness? Where's the where's the whole safety aspect of this? This doesn't seem like a simulator. This seems like a try not to fall to your death simulator. Okay. All right, almost to the top. I don't want to test to see if I can fall to my death. I'm pretty sure I can. And uh, here we go. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, fits like a glove. <laughs> Our next step requires starting the electromechanical transformers. Go to the main platform and turn them on. Okay, we gotta go turn on the electromechanical transformers. Go to the main platform to turn those thingies on. So we plug these thingies in, and then we're gonna go turn on some thingy down there. And oh, yeah, that is a that's a far that's a, that's a long way down. That's a that's something. No way you'd get me to do this, Marilla. I I just want to like play in the machine and not do this part. But yeah, we fixed the hydraulic line, so that's uh, good to go. Looks like we're going to have to... Can I just... Will I just walk? Am I, am I going to fall off of this? Or do I need, maybe I need to back up here. Oh. Oh. Okay. I, th I think we're good. Alright, let's go ahead and turn this on. And I guess I click the... You know, it ought to just hide it from you. It says, you know, just just take a guess. Just click one of the buttons and see and just see what happens. And, okay. It, what, what am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, I guess I'm supposed to hold the button. And what are these? Uh, Electromechanical converter. I have no clue what I'm doing here. I'm totally qualified for this job. Now, this giant requires proper cooling. Proper cooling. Turn on the Turn two on main the fans two main the lever fans on the back bridge. Okay. Back bridge. Where's the back bridge? Okay, back bridge is down here, so we gotta go turn on a couple fans. I'm assuming the last operator was just a complete ding-dong and he just burned everything up. I'm assuming he ruined the hydraulics, apparently overheated the uh, the electrical mechanical thingy mabobs up there. And am I on the right spot? Am I supposed to be walking over here? I don't think... I actually think I'm supposed to go around, so let's uh, do that. Okay, uh, let's hit this button. Fan. Okay, there's a fan there. I'm assuming there's another fan over here, so get this started up. This is actually really cool. Like, if all the levels are just like all operate big stuff, this could running. be uh, really fun. Go to the driver's cabin, start the bucket wheel excavator, and take it to the silicone excavation site. So, we get to drive this thing now? Is, is that what you're telling me? Is that's a thing? Okay, uh, let's, uh, I think we were by the cab earlier how do you see up this thing they've got to have cameras or something set up to be able to see around this because no way one person could operate this thing and like are we about to drive it and you know do fun stuff well, i don't know let's open up and whoa okay all right what do we do here controls oh we do get to drive this or wait a minute i'm not in it anymore am i uh let me get the camera what oh i am in it okay so we are driving this thing uh, let's see. Okay, let's turn it on. So we got the engine. Okay, we're on. And it's got music, and I don't really want to play radio, so we're going to turn that off. Uh, let's see. Is there a handbrake on this? So is that engaged? No? Okay. All right, let's drive into place. This thing is absolutely massive. That is cool. Let's uh, see what other camera views we've got here. Look at that. That is an impressive piece of machinery. Like, how would you like to operate that all day? I think I'm doing the wrong thing. Maybe I should stop YouTube and go drive one of these. Even though I'm probably not qualified at all to do that. But still, uh, this is a really cool piece of machinery. So, what I'm assuming is going to happen here, we're going to drill into one of the walls. So, or scrape. That's like a... Looks like a drill with, like, bucket arms. So, I'm assuming it just scrapes up rock or silicone and... Uh, there's a, it looks to be a conveyor belt right there, so, uh, we're eventually gonna make it over to this. This, this would be a good time for, like, a little time lapse of us, you know, just slowly creeping over to this box. Uh, this is definitely not built for speed. Uh, three, two, one. I hope I don't have to be perfectly in this box. Good yes. Work. We can start mining tomorrow. Tomorrow? I want to mine today. Like, you drug me out here to do this. What? Mission complete. I wanted to mine. Okay, we're doing another mission. That was way too quick. I thought I was actually going to get to do the whole mining part. So, yeah, let's play through one more mission here. Oh, I get to drive that. 
Oh, this gets better and better. Look at that. Jeez. There is an extreme amount of detail. I do give the uh, developer a lot of props here because these machines look ridiculously awesome. Like, look at that. There's so much detail on these. All right, let's uh, climb up into this. Okay, the cab's there. I wonder where that goes. Uh, let's see, it's a little tight ladder. I don't know if I may, might be too fat to get up this. There we go. Oh, look at the buttons. Can I, can I, ooh, I can press these. What happens when I press these? Is it a good thing, a bad thing? Uh, I don't know, let's get in the uh, cockpit here. Okay, uh, oh, nice detailed interior, so let's crank her up. No, with the radio, I don't wanna listen to radio. Uh, I should be focusing on my job. Uh, how am I gonna get out of here? This is, looks like a, looks like a little bit of a tight fit, so at least the handbrake. Uh, where am I going? Okay, 700 meters that way. I think we're... Are we too wide to fit out of this gate here? Uh, let me get the camera. Okay, where are we going here? So I feel like... Okay, it feels like we need to go to the right because I believe we are too wide to fit through this, so... That is a awesome vehicle. I wonder what that is on the side. There's a little... I wonder if that's like a weight or something. There's a little display over there. Not really sure. All right, we are cruising out here. We are almost there, and do I, did we just use this? I wonder if we really just use this vehicle just to cruise out here, or do we get to use this one too? Because we're almost back at the little mining machine thing, and uh, let's go to the left here. It looks like a wall over to the right, so. I wonder if we get to use this too. Uh, maybe we get to haul some of the rocks around. Looks like we're gonna park it right under possibly the conveyor belt over there and I don't wanna fall into whatever that is. That little sludge pool, that doesn't look good. Uh, let's see, oh, it's a tight turn. I don't wanna take down your fence. Hold on, there we go. All right, let's go park this bad boy over here. Uh, I think, is there a direction we need to be parked in? Looks like we need to be aiming outward, so... Uh, oh, don't hit it. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't get... How do you look out the back? Is there... There needs to be, like, a camera in this thing or something. Like, I don't understand how they back these up. It's got to be with assistance from people. So, uh, let's uh, back up here. Almost there. Almost there. Oop. I don't want to run into the big machine. This machine looks little compared to the big one there. That's ridiculous. We go, and we are parked. Now we can start digging for real. Yeah, let's go dig. Enter let's do that. Just climb into it. All right, we're good to go here. So I need to get down and, oh, that, okay, that leads straight down. Yes, I, I don't want to fall off this. There we go, and boom. All right, let's go get into the, uh, where's, how do I do that? Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to get up there. It's almost like you have to plan your route. Walk up there and walk across that. Gotcha. Oh, we are in the long, lonely walk across this thing, and I don't like heights. Look at that. Oh, this is uh, a little terrifying. So you drive it from the center, and you actually work the, I guess, the mining arm up here. See if we can get a little bit of a look at the actual arm itself and uh where's the drill? This is this the drill here? I think this is actually it. I don't wanna I don't think I really wanna climb up that. Let's go ahead and go down and we can check it out with the camera. These uh platforms don't look very safe, so let's uh hop in here and oh look at that. The thing's amazing. Okay, how do we control this? Okay, rotate left, right, jib up and down so the Jib is the big arm, I think. Okay, and then turn the wheel on and off. That's simple enough, so we need to crank it up here. Okay. Start the wheel and begin gathering the ore. Be careful. Be careful minimize ore to loss. Minimize ore loss, peel off relatively okay, peel small, off small layers, layers. Okay. of soil at a time. Oh, we got this. All right, why is the radio on in every one of these cabs? Radio off. I mean, real realistically, they, they should be paying attention, not listening to uh, tunes here, so... Let's see, what do we need to do here? So, okay, that, no, we're not moving. Okay, jib up, down. Do I need to turn on the wheel first? Oh, look at that. That is massive. Okay, now it's moving. 
Okay, so how do these work? I don't think... No, you don't go straight in. I think you slice along. So, uh, let's see if we can get a better view of this real quick. Uh, where are we at? There we are. Gonna scroll out here. This thing's so long. Okay. Operator. There we go. That's the view I'm looking for. Okay, so we're gonna edge along here. And is that gonna be too much? Do we need to maybe raise the jib up? Let's raise it up just a bit. And see if we start. Okay, we're hitting. Okay, so it's gonna cut in, assuming that's gonna do that. It's gonna drop, and I'm watching. There's a little red light there in the bottom right. Hopefully, I'm not screwing something up. And oh, you can actually see it drop in the uh, the silicone. That's a uh, that's cool. Uh, let's try doing this from the cockpit. I feel like I need to be watching something. Oh, I got a beep. What was the beep? These people were messy, by the way. Uh, there's some. Nope. Got another beep. I feel like I need to be watching something. There's like a, uh, almost like a little hydraulic gauge that, and I'm making the thing go off here. I'm, I'm afraid to actually do this. Uh, maybe, you know what? It looks like it's really thick up through here, so maybe we need to go up and maybe just grind across the top. I don't really know, because I really don't want to climb that ladder again to replace another hydraulic hose, so... We're just gonna do this ever so slightly here. Just kinda just ease into it. Don't need to go fast at all. Look at that, that is awesome looking. So it's just shoving it up there and it's uh, moving it above us on the actual conveyor. And I'm assuming it's dropping into the truck. I actually kinda wanna see if I can see that on camera. Uh, let's see, which camera angle is it? Okay, there's the truck and Okay, here comes some stuff. and Oh, we're actually dropping a little bit. I know I should be paying attention to the thing, but I want to watch it drop down the conveyor belt. Actually, it seems like it's loading up. We haven't dumped it yet. Okay, so let's go back in here and drag along this some more. We're collecting. We have a lot to collect here, so... Seems like we might make a pass high, and then I'll drop the jib and maybe go back along the bottom there. I don't know if that's how they actually do this, but that's the way I'm going to do it. Oh yeah, we're getting it done. We are gathering it. So I've been kind of dragging. Oh, don't break, don't break. That uh, warning sign, or the warning symbol, really, it's distracting. And it. Oh, no, don't overheat, don't overheat. Okay, we're going to let it run here for a second. It seems like you need to let it run in one spot and it's gathering. And then you need to slowly ease over. So we're going to slowly ease over here. <sighs> Getting a warning symbol. Okay, maybe I should make the jib go up again. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, like, where is the sweet spot? We've almost got it here. There we go. All right, we you got it. enough raw ore. It was automatically converted to the production Let's quality go fill the haul truck. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, let's shut this thing down. Let's see. What is the wheel off? Wheel off is F. So F and then X to kill the motor. Just drop everything. There we go. Oh, right. I'm assuming we get to actually play with the big dump truck now. So let's go over there and dump the load. All right. We are ready to dump the load. Let's see. That seems very unsafe. There's silicone ore is just all over the place now. Like, what happens if people are standing under this? Man, that's, uh, that's kind of crazy. So let's go ahead and hit this button or hold it. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Alright, we're dropping. How much do we need to load? Okay, we've got the uh, little thing over there telling us how much to load, so... Let's load it all! Come on! That, uh, that also seems kind of dangerous, too. I guess this whole job would be fairly dangerous, but... Uh, it'd be something that would be actually fairly cool to do. Alright, we're almost loaded up and ready to go here. Come on! A little more. There we go. Go back to the haul truck and transport the ore to the All right, so we need to transport it. So that should be it. And that's a lot of ore there. I hope I don't drop that. How do we get down? Do we just pop off the conveyor? Pretty sure we don't. We need to go around here. I get lost on this platform. Uh, there's been a, a lot of me just going around circling it. Uh, actually, here we go. Okay, here's how we get down. So let's go down here. We're going to hop in that truck and I think it's just a beast. It's a major beast of a machine. Yeah, let's hop up here. Uh, go over here. 
and get into the cockpit and we're gonna drive this to a container and we should be good to go so apparently we're mining for the space shuttle so I think I saw in the trailer there's some sort of space shuttle thing so uh, no telling what we're gonna wind up doing later on in the game so uh, turn that on release the handbrake and the radio is on again turn that off there we go all right let's go over there we got 700 meters to drive but yeah this is a this is just a type of game that I used to play a lot of and I used to just buy random simulators a lot of people are always like hey you need to go play farming sim and while that is I mean I understand the appeal of the game something like this is more appealing to me because it's a big machine like when I was a kid I could have only dreamed of playing a game like this where I get to drive these huge machines and I hope I make this turn there we go yeah just getting to drive these huge machines around and I mean even if it's just kinda it seems like it holds your hand quite a bit and just tells you exactly what to do cause it looks like there's a lot of buttons and I wonder if there's like a mode where I can just go in there and play with the machine and just press all the buttons cause it's always kinda fun to uh, discover like what all types of things that you can do with all these machines and the different ways you can break the machine Man, I should probably be a lot more careful with this ore in the back. I'm watching it just bounce around, and surprised none of it's fallen out. So uh, we're almost at the unload spot. So we're gonna take this over here, and we're gonna dump this. So oh, we're gonna dump it into a container. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do we do this? I'm assuming we're gonna back into it here. I don't want to take the awning off on that building. This is kind of a tight fit. So swinger wide. There we go. And then we're gonna back right up and oh 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 that's what that is okay that is like a readout for the uh, I guess the weight it looks like it's illuminated I think it looks like it says 299 I'm not 100% sure though let's go ahead and uh, I need to cut it a little bit but I don't want to hit the awning there we go I wonder if I can destroy that so, uh, those are questions that needs to be answered and I probably need to do that one day Okay, I think we are to the point where we're going to be able to dump this, so... Oh, no, 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 no. Trailer up, so it's right-click. What's the pressure button? What does that do? Oh, oh, it relieves pressure. Okay, so... Assuming you get a pressure build-up when you're lifting this bucket here, which I want to see that dump. Oh, that's going to be cool. It's a lot of pieces. There we go. Slide it out. Might, might well, need to with that pull forward. Okay. I'm sure we'll get along splendidly. I, did I win? Oh, I won. Okay, I did win. I, I kind of wanted to like finish that up and like pull forward or something, but it didn't allow me to. But yeah, that was actually pretty fun. Uh, definitely, I'm probably gonna play some of that in my free time. But yeah, this game is available on Steam. Uh, if you're into this type of simulator, I go into my Steam group sometimes and I see people playing like farming sim and stuff like that. So this might be uh, something up your alley. It's not very expensive, so. Uh, definitely really easy to get into it looks fantastic and I'm not sure exactly how many missions there are in the game uh, they have it they've got like a quick or like a some sort of time trial mode and it looks like a couple modes to keep you busy but anyways guys hope you enjoyed the quick look uh, we will return with some more gaming videos tomorrow as always if you like to like and subscribe everything helps my channel and I hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you guys next time thank you